This is definitely the best open source multi-agent framework. Just yesterday, we got an announcement from Alibaba where they had released a new Quen series large language model called Quen2. And with the release of their new large language model, they also introduced a new upgrade to their agent framework called Quen Agent, which has now integrated the new large language model as a new backbone for the framework. Now, Quen Agent is an agent framework and an application built upon Quen2, which features function calling, code interpreter, RAG, as well as a Chrome extension. Now, this is some of the things that you would see with a multi-agent framework, but this new agent framework will enable you to create intricate AI agents that can perform tasks better than other agent frameworks. We actually had made a video on this going further in detail, and I definitely recommend that you take a look at that link in the description below. So then why are we making another video on this? Well, they basically created an agent utilizing Quentu's model with an 8K context size. And this is to understand documents with 1 million tokens. It surpasses RAG and native long context models. This agent was also used to generate data for training new long context Quen models. This is really quite an astonishing goal to have reached. And it's something that we're going to be covering throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned as we showcase the capability of this new Quen agent that has integrated the new Quen2 model, which is possibly the best open source large language model that's out there. In this video, we're going to be showcasing what they have done with this new, I would say, agent that they have created, where they have increased the context window. And we're also going to be showcasing how you can get started. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Quen Agent. This is a new framework built on the Quen2 large language model, and it integrates advanced capabilities like function calling, you have code interpreter, retrieval augments generation, as well as an extension. Now, we saw this before with the Quen MOE, Quen Agent framework, and this is a framework that aimed to create its sophisticated AI agents, and they were able to actually outperform many other agent frameworks. But now we have a more detailed and intricate framework that is probably the best open source AI agent framework that's out there. And it can handle complex tasks quite well. And what they've done is they basically introduced this new agent. And this is what we're going to be covering throughout today's video. It's an agent where they generalize the large language model from going from 8K to a million contexts using the coin agent. So just with that 8K context like size they were able to understand documents with 1 million tokens and it was able to surpass the performance of rag as well as the native log context models and this is an agent that was able to generate the data for training new long context for quen models so you can see how powerful this new quen model is with the new quen agent and we're going to be taking a look at this approach as to how they did it and showcase how you can get started with this new framework so let me give you some context well, recently there has been a lot of excitement around large language models that can natively process sequence of millions of tokens. And most research has focused on advanced mathematical techniques like rope, and they've focused on new architectures such as non-transformer large language models. However, preparing sufficiently long fine-tuning data was something that was quite less discussed, and this is why they used the coin agent to help generalize a large language model that goes from 8K to a million contexts, and this is utilizing this new framework. And they have a four-step approach where they have the initial model that starts off with a weak 8K context chat model. There's an agent development phase where it uses the model, and they build a relatively strong agent that's capable of handling the 1 million contexts. Then you have a data synthesis where they synthesize the fine tuning data with the agent and they apply automated filtering and this is to ensure quality. And lastly you have the model fine tuning. This is where they use the synthetic data to fine tune a pre trade model and they, this basically resulted in a strong 1 million context chat bot. So let's take a look at the first step which is building the agent. This is where the agent they built consists of three levels of complexity and each are built upon the previous one. So the first level is the retrieval augmented generation, which is a simple approach that we've seen so many times on the channel. It's processing a 1 million context length and it uses the RAG algorithm and it divides the context into shorter chunks. 
and each of them shouldn't exceed 512 tokens. And then what happens is that it retains only the most relevant chunks within the 8k context. And then it splits off into three levels of complexity. So this is where we start off with a separate information instruction, which is the instruction that is given to the chat model to distinguish between the instruction as well as the non-instruction transformations. And this is for the user queries. For example, you transform with you should reply in 2000 words and it should be detailed as possible. My question is, when were bicycles invented? And this is where you then send in a reply back in English and it gives you a prompt structure which you see over here. Secondly, you have the ability or the step to extract keywords and this is where you ask the model to basically deduce multilingual keywords from, mis from the informational part of the query. And lastly, you have the ability to retrieve relevant chunks, and this is by using the BM25 algorithm. This is a traditional keyword-based retrieval method, and it's to locate the chunks, and it's going to give you the most relevant and extracted keywords. The second level is chunk by chunk reading, and this is where they basically saw that the RAG approach is quite fast, and it can miss relevant chunks. And if they don't match a keyword in the query, it's going to be able to miss a lot of different things. And this is why they introduced this new approach, which is a brute force strategy. And it includes three steps. You have the access relevance, where it is a model that checks each 512 tokens for the chunk and for the relevance to the query. Secondly, you have the retrieval of chunks. And this is where the relevant sentences are used to the query to retrieve the most relevant chunks within the 8K context limit. And this is utilizing that other approach we saw. And it, that was the algorithm of BM25. Lastly, you have the ability to then generate the answer. And this is the final answer that's generated based off the retrieval context. And it's similar to the RAG method. Lastly, you have step-by-step -step reasoning, where in document-based question answering, they use multi-hop reasoning, and it's quite a challenge. For example, if you are to answer what vehicle was invented in the same century as the 5th symphony was composed, the model actually needs to determine the 5th symphony that it was composed in the 19th century, and then it's going to find that the bicycles were also invented in the same year or the same century, and you can see that it is not actually accurate. And what they've done to solve this is utilizing tool calling agents. They basically have multiple different types of tools. You have the ask the LV3 agent a question. You also have sub questions, update memory, and so many other things. And this is a really cool approach that they use to increase the context to 1 million impression or tokens. And now you can see the experiments and you can see how well the coin agent is able to improve the quality of certain functionalities and things such as the context length and this is where you can see the quality of how it performs against other rag algorithms and models you can see how well it does in various capabilities and i'll leave a link to this blog post so you get a better idea but you can see how this is such an amazing agent framework that can assist you in various ways now, if you want to get started with the coin agent, I definitely recommend that you watch my previous video on it, which I showcase practical examples as well as how you can get started. But it's fairly easy. You just need to go over to the PyP website. And this is something I'll leave a link to in the description below. You just need to install the agent framework onto your desktop. And once you have done that, you can then prefer, like, prepare the model services. You can deploy your own agents with the tutorials they have. You can deploy different types of agents and you can utilize the new coin to model which is the purpose of this video. So definitely try this out with the new model because it is super powerful. It's actually the best open source model in my opinion. And I definitely recommend that you take a look at it. So I'll leave a link to all these different things in the description below. There's actually a lot of tutorials which will showcase what you can do with this new Quen to Quen Asia framework. So with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon page. It's a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.